I'd like to introduce one of our fellows from our inaugural Health Equity Fellowship, Alex Perez, who is completing her fellowship at our partner site, the South Central Family Health Center. Um, Alex, please feel free to take the virtual stage. Hello everyone, thank you Sienna for introducing me. As she's mentioned, I'm one of the five Health Equity Fellows. Um, my name is Alexander Perez, but I go by Alex. I'm currently placed at the South Central Family Health Center. And um, this center is a federally health qualified center. So I've been learning a lot about that side of things, but um, just overall working with this program has been amazing. I love co collaborating with my peers within the clinic and within the mentorship itself. I'm able to take workshops and learn from Dr. Casillas um, and my fellow peers as we all just kind of share all of our experiences and what kind of guided us toward looking at um, health inequities within um, the healthcare system. And I feel like what personally kind of led me to apply for this fellowship has been um, working for a previous federally health qualified center. I worked for Ultimed as an outreach intern during the pandemic where I was able to go out into the community and offer them resources, um, offer vaccine appointments. And this really just pushed me to kind of put a definition to what I've been experiencing my whole life. And um, it was just amazing. It was transforming for me. So it kind of led me to further my education and my experiences working with the Latino community within South Central. So I'm really honored to just be working um, at the clinic. And um, my passion project recently has been to kind of just connect with the community and see what um, stressors they experience. So I started a blog that's called um, The Stress South Central Carries. And um, each blog, I try to connect my own personal story to those of the community members. So my first blog was A Place Called Home, just kind of identifying that where we grow up can place a lot of stressors on our life. Um, where I grew up, I grew up in a low income area in California. So I know what it's like and I wanna relate to community members to let them know that they're not alone. Um, my second one was for Mother's Day, just talking about how difficult it was for my mom to live with immigrant parents and struggle with these gender roles within her life. So each blog, I just kind of try to connect um, to different stressors within the community to show that um, we shouldn't just have to accept our stress as being normal. So I just try to amplify community members' voices. And I'm currently working on a project where I'm gonna go into the clinic and try to conduct interviews and offer um, gift cards. So I'm able to really just talk to community to see what we can do to help them through their stressors, possibly more behavioral health resources, more pamphlets, just um, trying to talk to them and connect with them because sometimes they don't feel like their voice is heard. So yeah, um, my blog is really um, something that I, clo I hold close to my heart just because I'm able to talk from my perspective and relate to other people and see what community is saying. I'm also able to go out to community events and still offer resources. I'm kind of just able to do um, a little bit of everything, which is why I love um, the Mumenthor Health Equity Program. I really appreciate everything that they've done for me. And I'm excited to keep going to the workshop workshops to talk to my fellow peers and um, keep talking, talking to Dr. Casillas because she's been a great resource. And yeah. Um, everything's just been great and I hope they're able to continue this program because it's been amazing for me and I hope others are able to experience it as well and thank you.